So just a final one on this one. How do you, how do you, uh, how do you not drive up production costs for Australia's free-to-air networks then? Yeah, I saw that argument and I thought that argument presumes that we've got a limited number of actors who are already fully employed and a lit limited number of people wanting to make movies who are already fully employed and will just drive up the costs. You know, this is an industry where you've got people everywhere desperate for work. Uh, the capacity of Australian, particularly scripted drama, but the capacity of Australian content to grow uh, is not difficult. This is not like we've got some, some really fixed amount that we're putting pressure on. You've got a whole lot of people out there, anxious, talented people, wanting to get more work in the industry. This can be done without driving those costs up. OK, just a couple of other issues now, as you just heard uh, from uh, George, our reporter before you. The CFMEU is pushing for significant wage increases to keep up with inflation. Should they get it? Oh, this is a standard start of a negotiation. The unions will put forward a particular claim uh, that'll, be, that'll be usually significantly higher than where things land. The employers will sometimes put up very, very low alternatives and they bargain and they negotiate and they land on an agreement. And that's what, that's what the process will be here. Uh, importantly, some issues that you used to not be allowed to agree on now can be there. So I noticed in the papers today, there's conversations about whether or not you can have a minimum number of people who are apprentices on a site being guaranteed. And I'm really happy that the conversation about training people up is part of the conversation that's going to happen in this negotiation. The CFMEU tends to set trends. Uh, if they get a significant pay rise, if that's where it, it somehow lands, would that add to inflation? Oh, look, you saw the percentages the other week as to where union membership is at the moment. I think the, the claims that the union movement in general or a one union in specific is going through a claim to have this impact that's going to ricochet across the economy. Uh, I, I think there's some exaggeration going on there. Uh, you know, one of the people who I heard quoted in your story a bit earlier, uh, I remember that same person a year ago asking against the pay rise that we got for people on the minimum wage. Uh, there will be some people who will argue every time uh, that, oh, no, now's the, the worst time for wages to go up. We had a decade where we were told wages couldn't move because inflation was, not, was low. Some of those same people are arguing now, oh, wages can't move because inflation is high. You know, wages are not the only issue when you're dealing uh, with the inflationary pressures. The inflationary pressures at the moment have been right. principally driven by international factors, not by what's happening. OK, and, uh, and just a final one on the No campaign for The Voice. It's uh, going to be launched today, Minister. Uh, it has uh, this morning criticised your government's version by claiming The Voice will upend Parliament, where people can hold out for favours in exchange for votes, much the same way independent senators do. Is, is that an unintended consequence that's possible? It's completely untrue. Uh, and it won't be the only thing that gets said during this debate that's completely untrue. The voices of the referendum that people will vote on is about two things. It's about recognition and it's about consultation. It's about making sure that the first Australians are recognised in the Constitution. At the moment, they're not there at all. And secondly, as part of that recognition, making sure that there's a voice so that there's a formal process there of consultation with the first Australians. That's all it does. It's a very modest and generous request and I'm hoping that Australians later this year respond with that same generosity. With OK, the we will leave it there. Tony Burke, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us.